tonight, brethren, as we come around the table of remembrance, I want to think about something that um, Daniel was given to see in the seventh chapter of Daniel. You know, this, um, this work that Christ has begun is a, is a big work, and it's going to have a, a big culmination. Amen. It says in um, verse 25, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And think to change times and laws, and they, sh and they shall be given into his hand until the time and times and the dividing of times. But, but, there's going to be an end to this thing. Do you think he's been given some, some do uh, dominion? He's been given some power. He's been actually given to have some power over us, in a sense. We are in his domain, right? You walk in the flesh, you'll find out how much power he's got. Mm -hmm. But the judgment shall sit in, and listen to this, they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end, and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey Him. When Jesus died on the cross, when He who knew no sin was made to be sin, He destroyed Him that had the power of death, that is the devil. See, that was, He had some power, he, he had the power of death, but Jesus destroyed Him. See, now, what you wrestle with now is a destroyed enemy. Mm -hmm. it, but now, this, look at this. Jesus destroyed him. He rose from the dead. He ascended in on high, and he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, expecting. This is something. Jesus is not sitting up there wondering how it's going to work out. He's expecting. He knows exactly how it's going to work out. And as you get in him and as you walk by faith, you start knowing how it's going to work out. You start seeing how the end in the end. See, don't get used to being small. Don't get used to being insignificant. God has made, God has put you into Christ. Now just to be able to understand that and to see what he purchased on that day when he hung on the tree. It was a great purchase. This thing that Jesus started, it, it remember he, he talked about a little stone that was cut out of a mountain and that thing started rolling down the hill and when it got to the bottom it consumed everything yeah. all the kingdoms of the earth they're going to bow down one of these days they're all going to submit now we do it by faith we do it cheerfully we yeah. bow the near will, willing the, the knee willingly why because we know that we've been given to know that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, and that He took away sin by the sacrifice of Himself. See, this is a, you know in yourself, you come to this table, it's a pleasant remembrance. This is like, this is an honoring remembrance. You're benefited, you're, you're, you're made like refreshed anew. Well, not everyone is going to have that experience on that day going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There's many who are going to be cast out of His presence forever. But, you see, when you remember Christ and, 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 and you consider Him who gave so much that you could have, you could know God. Well, see, this is a blessing. This is a blessing to God. God is blessed when you take, when you take your faith and you use it and you, you, you run after Him. This blesses God. He purchased this salvation for those who believe. If you believe, all things are possible to him to believe. We come to this table believing the record that God has given of his son and remembering his death till he come. See, it's all focused on something that's going to culminate in a grand, this is a, you can have a, an abundant entrance into the everlasting kingdom. Why? Because Jesus purchased it. He's, he's got a great kingdom. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. It's never be taken away from Him. And if you're in Him, and you're given to reign with Him in His throne, 
because you overcame. See, this is, we have a wonderful future. And this table points to that future, points to a, a time. Now you may be the tail, but that's not what this table's pointing to. It's pointing to the time when you're going to be the head. You're going to be, everyone's going to know your name. Say, why? Because you're in Christ. That's why. It's not that you're so significant. It's he's so significant. I want to see this more clearly. I want to see him for who he is. Because once you see him fully, oh, see, it doesn't matter if men recognize you or not. God recognizes you because you're in Christ. Let's, let's ask the Lord to help us remember his son again. Father, we